Hey everybody, how you doing? Um, someone asked me, how do you pick your pots? What's a good way to select your container? There is a lot of specifics on container select selection. It is the highest elevation of the art form, in my opinion, to perfectly pair the pot with the tree. However, there are some basic um, pairing guidelines. Traditionally, conifers are ideally put in unglazed containers. Uh, they typically are positioned in a container that is two-thirds their longest dimension. So if the tree is, uh, say, nine inches, nine inches tall would be placed in a six-inch container. If it's the longest dimension is the width and say it's nine inches wide, it would be in a six-inch container. Uh, if the trunk is about an inch and a half, two inches thick, the depth of the pot should be an inch and a half, two inches thick. The reason why is the tree needs to be the focus. Even though this is the picture frame to the composition, it is a part of the composition and it's very important. Deciduous tree, like a maple, an elm, Chinese quince, traditionally are put in glazed containers. If it is a type of plant that blooms, like a Chinese quince, or even an azalea, uh, or a uh, lavender star flower or a tropical even, they're traditionally put in glazed containers. Uh, especially a type of glaze that would either augment or complement or um, contrast uh, the flowering uh, of that plant. These are guidelines, they're not steadfast rules. I've seen some really beautiful trident maples in unglazed containers and they're, they're very elegant. Uh, but these are things to know just so uh, you know why you're breaking them. <laughs> it's important to know the rules before you break the rules. So those are just some of the basics of pot selection of uh, bonsai. Uh, many people overpot their trees and the tree loses its focus when the pot is so much larger. So remember these guidelines and, and you're off to a great starting point. Thanks for watching.